In this video, I will show you how you can create Schoology course cards using um, a website called Canva. Canva is like a, a site you can make all sorts of graphic images, and it is so easy. Anyone can use it, even those of you that might not be comfortable with technology. All right, so let's go over to Schoology. A course card in Schoology is this little picture that shows up um, when you're on your dashboard. This um, shows up for teachers and for students. So it would be really great if the course card helped both teachers and students uh, identify which class this is for. So they don't always have to rely on this small text. So um, the default course card, sometimes people call them course um, tiles, is this blue one. So I'm going to click on this class. Uh, so you can follow along uh, on your own Schoology and do this with me. Um, pause this video at any time. Um, if you have a second screen, it'd be great to have a video on one and your own Schoology on the other. Now I'm looking at one of my Schoology courses. Um, the default page or the home page that um, it will take you to is the materials page. So I'm just going to call this like a home page. To change the course card or course tile, we're going to hover on this picture in the top left corner. And when we hover our mouse on that picture, this gray button pops up that says edit picture. I'll zoom in here to make it easier. Edit picture. We're going to click on edit picture. And Schoology has quite a few built-in items. So uh, if you want to do just kind of a basic update, you can uh, just choose one of these. However, you'll notice at the top of this box, there's an option to attach a file. So we're going to pause and leave this up on this tab and we're going to go to another tab. And in this new tab, I would like you to type in uh, www.canva.com. So it sounds like canvas without the S. Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com and press enter. Uh, the first time you sign in to, or you go to the Canvas site, it will ask you to set up an account in the top right corner. Uh, I suggest doing it so you can save your designs. So you can sign up with your school district uh, Google account. That's how I suggest doing it. And once you sign up for the very first time, you might have to skip through a couple introductory pages. And, and towards the end, it should land you on an option to search. Okay, so on the main page, my search button is at the top of the page. The first time you're in Canva, the search might be in the middle of the page. In that search box, type Schoology, type Schoology. And what is so great and why this is a great option for anybody, regardless of your you know, comfortable, um, if you're comfortable with technology or not, it already has some resources built in. So you don't have to worry about having the right size. So type Schoology in the search field, and then we're going to select Schoology course card. Schoology course card. You can also start from scratch and do your own, um, but for the beginning of the year, I highly suggest using these templates as your starting point because they're already the, the great, the best size for Schoology. So it will show you a whole bunch of templates that are already created. You can use any of these. And the great part is you can customize any of these. Let's say you like one of these, but you're not a fan of the color or you want it to match your school colors, or maybe you don't like the font. These are all so easy to customize. Anybody can customize them. So I am going to pretend I'm in a uh, science class. So I'm going to choose this science template and I by clicking on it. And I'm going to give it a moment to load the page. All right, so let's build it. Let's say I teach science, but I don't teach anything about space. I can easily customize um, this card by taking off these little images. Or let's say you love these images, but you're not a fan of the color. Let's click on an image and towards the upper left, it'll show you all the colors in that picture and you can easily change them. So make it match your school colors or just colors that match your template better. Um, it's really great. Oh, that doesn't work. Either. So these little images that show up on the templates are super easy to delete and replace with something else or customize the color. All right, let's pretend uh, for science, I'm going to pretend this is an eighth grade class. There we go. You can also put your name on here. Um, you can uh, change this course name here. If you don't want to say science, maybe you teach chemistry. 
you can change it to chemistry. Uh, if what happens to me right now, if the font doesn't fit in the box, just like with other programs, you can increase the size of the box by looking at these little handles on the left and right. You can rotate them to add interest. You can go um, at to, come to the top and you can choose a different font altogether. Maybe you don't like that particular font. You can change the color of the font by using the tools up here at the top. Um, it's, it's so easy to customize. So let's put this back. We'll pretend I'm teaching a chemistry class here. Now, let's say I don't care for the background. I can click on the, the background part of this page. And again, I'm going to look up here in the, the upper left kind of middle, and it shows me the, the color. I can change it right there. Let's make it blue. But then I notice these little shapes are something different. Well, you can also change those colors. So you can customize this however you want. Or maybe you don't like these little um, blobs, I guess you would call them, and you can delete them all together. Uh, you can also search for thousands of other elements to add on to your card. So on the left side of the page, I'm going to click on elements. You can look for background images. You can look for photos. Um, I'm going to type in my search here, chemistry. Let's see what comes up for chemistry. You can type history. You could type, look at all these little pictures. If I just click on one of them, it will pop onto the page and I can load it. Um, for this first tutorial, I'm just going to be loading these um, images, uh, regular clip art images. You'll notice there's some really fun ones. There's just an extra step involved for the animated object, so I'll save that at the end. If you're interested in an animated object, um, actually, no, I'll do that at the same time. Uh, I'll show you there's a special way to save it at the end. They're kind of fun. All right, so you can add some elements if you like. You can add shapes. I'm going to clear this out. If you wanted to add an, uh, another shape to go behind and just add interest, just like with the other items, you change the color in the left area. Um, sometimes you might want to change the layering, like the circle I just added is in front of my words. So if you need to change the layering a little bit so it's to send items to the back or forward, in Canva, it's called position. So you can go to position and send something backwards or bring something forward. So uh, have fun making a Canva card uh, for a particular course. Now, in when you're done with it, I suggest changing the name of this course, so the name of this file. So in the top center-ish, center right, I'm going to change the name of this file to chemistry. So if I ever want to come back and make changes to it, it's easy for me to find it. So I'm going to change the name to chemistry here. Okay. And this part's pretty intuitive. When you're done with a file, we're going to go to the right and choose to download. Download. Now, if yours is a picture without any moving objects, you're going to want to choose PNG. PNG. And then just click download. If you chose something with an animated object, I suggest going to download and choosing GIF, G-I-F, or GIF for some of you who like that, and click download. All right, so those course cards are loading. Uh, important note, if you have courses that are linked in Schoology, and um, by linked, I'll show you on my Schoology page, I have linked my third hour and my fourth hour. Linking is a great way to save you time so you don't have to uh, duplicate assignments and, and announcements and things. But when you link a course, both courses have the same course card. So I, I, I'm keeping my course card general for the name of the course. I didn't put in my course card the period. So as a quick little note, if you have linked courses, they share a course card. If your courses are not linked, they have their own individual course cards. If you would like to know how to link your courses for secondary teachers, uh, look for that video. All right. So in Canva, my uh, images have saved. 
they've downloaded. Sometimes you'll get a little pop-up. I just exit out. I know that they have saved um, and downloaded because they're on my lower left corner here. But I'm just going to leave them there. And I'm going to return to my Schoology page. And remember, we got to this edit profile picture spot by hovering on the course card in the upper left corner. And we clicked on edit picture. And now we're going to click attach file. Attach file. I'm going to give it a second. When we download from Canva on our school laptops, it automatically goes into our downloads file. So here are my chemistry course cards. The first one I downloaded is a PNG. So I'm going to show you how that looks. Oh, here's my little preview. Here it is in the corner. I'm going to close out. That looks awesome. Now it's really clear what class this is. And if I'm on my dashboard, it's really clear at a glance to tell this is my chemistry class. That course card helps me as the teacher and my students identify which class this is. Otherwise, they just have to look at the, the text. All right, so that's the still image. Now, you might want to, oops, let me go back to that one real quick. You might want to try the animated object. So let me show you what that looks like. So instead of attaching the PNG, I'm going to attach the GIF. And so you can see what the little animation looks like on your course card. It does take a couple beats longer to um, display a course card with an animation. So be patient with it. Um, give it a second. OK, there it goes. And now you'll notice in the upper left corner, it's a little cute animation. Now I'm really zoomed in. That's why I think it's kind of blurry. So. We go back to a regular 100% and you can see the fun animation. I suggest not putting tons of animations on your course card, but I think a couple are fun. Now when I go to my uh, list of courses, it, it will take a beat for that chemistry um, one to show up because it does have that animation, but it will show up here as well. So I highly suggest um, updating your course cards so it makes it easier for you and your students to identify which classes um, belong to each of those cards. We go back to my dashboard. Here's the teacher dashboard, the default screen. And it is so much easier for me to identify which classes are which when I have changed the course card. All right. I hope you have fun in Canva making some course cards. Um, and thanks for watching.